find all real numbers x for which 8 power x plus 27 power x divided by 12 power x plus 18 power x equals to 7 by 6. Now we have to find out the values of x which will satisfy this particular equation. Now if we substitute x equals to 1 we can very clearly see just adding the numbers 35 by 30 which is equals to 7 by 6 but we are not sure we have any other solution because we have to find out all real numbers x. Now this is a IMO problem so we will just try to solve this problem. So what we have been given is 8 power x plus 27 power x divided by 12 power x plus 18 power x equals to 7 by 6. Now 8 is 2 cube so I can write it as 2 power x whole cube 27 is 3 cube so I can write it as 3 power x whole cube divided by how can we write 12 in terms of 2 and 3 2 square into 3 so can I write down 2 power x whole square into 3 power x plus 2 power x into 3 power x whole square is equal to 7 by 6 now if you if you are able to observe here this is like a cube plus b cube divided by a square b plus a b square so we can make this simple by taking a equals to 2 power x and b equals to 3 power x then it will be little bit easy for us to write down this so shall we say a cube plus b cube divided by now what I will do I'll just multiply the denominator with 3 so that I will have 3a square b plus 3ab square idea is simple when I do that I will get a plus b whole cube formula so let's go ahead and do that now let us add 1 on both the sides so we'll have a cube plus b cube divided by 3a square b plus 3ab square plus 1 is equal to 7 by 18 plus 1 which will make it a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b which is a plus b whole cube formula divided by can I say 3ab into a plus b is equal to taking LCM we have 25 divided by 18 now 3 will go 6 times and the numerator is a plus b whole cube so we can write down a plus b whole cube divided by a b into a plus b is equal to 25 divided by 6 continuing we can simplify this a plus b will go a plus b whole square it will become so can I write down a plus b whole square divided by a b equals to 25 by 6 now we are looking at a quadratic equation so let us do cross multiplication we will have 6 into a plus b whole square equals to 25 a b let's open the brackets and get everything to one side we will have 6a square plus 6b square plus 12ab minus 25ab equals to 0 that will give us 6a square minus 13ab plus 6b square equals to 0 now now we can split the middle terms here we can factorize this we have sum equals to minus 13 and product equals to 36 if you don't want to do this you can 
as well as use quadratic formula to solve this we will have minus 9 and minus 4 our options so that both sum and product are satisfied then we will have 6 a square minus 9 a b minus 4 a b plus 6 b square equals to 0 can we take 3 a common we will have 3 a into 2 a minus 3 b minus 2 b into 2 a minus 3 b equals to 0 that will give us 3 a minus 2 b into 2 a minus 3 b equals to 0 separating them we have 3 a minus 2 b is 0 or 2 a minus 3 b equals to 0 this will give us a by b equals to 2 by 3 or a by b is equals to 3 by 2 so we got a by b equals to 2 by 3 or 3 by 2 but a is 2 power x and b is 3 power x so let's go ahead and do that substitute we got a by b equals to 2 by 3 so can i write down 2 power x divided by 3 power x equals to 2 by 3 or 2 power x divided by 3 power x equals to 3 by 2 now this can be written as 2 by 3 whole power x equals to 2 by 3 whole power 1 or 2 by 3 whole power x equals to 3 by 2 which is a reciprocal of 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 whole power minus 1 that will give us x equals to 1 or x equals to minus 1 so there are only two solutions one x equals to 1 another one is x equals to minus 1 x equals to 1 anyway we know 8 plus 27 35 by 30 7 by 6 let us check how x equals to minus 1 works 8 power minus 1 is 1 by 8 27 power minus 1 is 1 by 27 divided by 1 by 12 plus 1 by 18 taking LCM we will have 35 by 216 divided by 30 by 216 216 216 cancels again we are back to 35 by 30 that is nothing but 7 by 6